Your Storm Team AccuWeather forecast on demand. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onig with your Weather on Demand segment. Thanking very much News 12 viewer Lee Ann O'Kelly from Chatsworth for a view of a Sea Rock City roof around White, Georgia. That's our Langley Roofing weather window picture of the day. If you got pictures, we'd love to show them, but you have to send them in for us to do that. Email them to us, drop them to our social media pages, or head to our website, wdef.com slash photos for more. The big picture is showing high pressure, escorting in more moisture from off the Atlantic, but a lot more of it coming in from the southwest off the Gulf. We do have a few showers in southern middle Tennessee, west of Huntsville, down toward about Mobile. None of that's going to be affecting us, but over the next couple of days, we might pick up a little bit more moisture before our next cold front arrives. This one is going to be dropping our temperatures into the weekend and making things very much on the comfortable side. For the first time in a long time, we have an extended period of expecting below normal temperatures. Not exactly an Arctic blast, but at least we'll be dropping our numbers well below normal, which is about 89 or 90 for this time of the year in this area of the country. What it is also going to do is push in a lot of dry air. The moisture rich air will stay down to our south, two and a half to four inches of rain from Texas all the way to the Carolinas, and we're going to be lucky to pick up a fraction of an inch being eight and a half inches behind normal. We could definitely use some help on that. No rainfall expected tonight, comfortable temperatures, lows again in the 60s, highs in the mid to upper 80s, and then a chance of showers and thunderstorms possible on Friday might be a problem for Friday night football. That forecast will keep updated at WDEF.com weather. Join us for an update tonight on News 12.